Hello, thanks for joining me again. We're looking at Revelation 12. I read it to you last time from the King James today. Back to the Passion. So, Revelation 12, verses 1 and 2. An astonishing miracle sign appeared in heaven. I saw a woman clothed with the brilliance of the sun, and the moon was under her feet. She was wearing on her head a victor's crown of 12 stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in labour pains in the agony of giving birth. I'm leaving out verse 3 and 4 because I'll teach that another time. Verse 5, she gave birth to a man-child who is about to rule and shepherd every nation with an iron scepter. And her son was caught up to God and to his throne. Now, I'll stop there. That's up to uh, verse 5. So verses 1, 2 and 5. Now, who is this woman? Well, inadvertently, in the last video, I said it was Mary because of Virgo, Virgin Mary and so on. It's not Mary. Can't be Mary. Because Mary was not wearing a crown of 12 stars. The 12 stars, you have to interpret Scripture with Scripture. Now think back, who do you know talked about uh, stars in a vision? It was Joseph. Joseph in uh, chapter 37 of Genesis. He was a dreamer, was Joseph. Didn't get appreciated, but he was a dreamer. And he dreamed, he had uh, 11 brothers and his mum and dad, uh, Jacob, and he dreamed another dream. This is in verse 9, Genesis 37 and verse 9. He dreamed another dream and told it to his brothers and said, See here, I've dreamed again. And behold, this time, not only 11 stars, but also the sun and the moon bowed down and did reverence to me. He told his father, well, that went down really well with uh, Jacob. And his father rebuked him and said, What is the meaning of your dream that you dream? Shall I and your mother and your brothers all bow down to you and give homage? Didn't like that idea at all. So interpreting scripture with scripture, the, uh, the 12 stars are the sons of Jacob. In other words, the nation of Israel. Now, what about the boy? What about the son? The son, this woman, gave birth to a male child in verse 5, a male child who is destined to shepherd and rule the nations. That's from the Amplified Bible. He's destined to shepherd the nations. Now, what did Jesus say? One of the things he said in John chapter 10, I am the good shepherd. See, I love the sheep and so my sheep hear my voice. You know these scriptures, I'm sure you do. So he's the shepherd of the sheep. And so Jesus fits that completely. And it's Jesus. He's a single male child. It's not a church. It's not a, a lot of people. It's one single male child. Now, so the first thing, he will be a shepherd. And then he would rule the nations with an iron staff. Applying this principle interpreting scripture with scripture let's go back to uh, psalm 2 this is a decree in verse 7 it's talking about the king i will declare this decree the lord has said to me you are my son this day have i begotten you and then uh, verse 8 ask of me i'll give you the nations as an inheritance he's a shepherd of all the nations and you shall rule them with a rod of iron. See, that's the scripture. That's, uh, that's David, I suppose. I don't know. It probably is David writing that. So there's the psalmist, anyway, mentioning the fact that the, the king would rule the nations with a rod of iron. And here in Revelation 12, we see that he's a shepherd, but he also rules the nations with an iron staff. So there's the fit, okay? We're coming into Jesus. So Israel is the mother and Jesus was born into Israel. I hope I'm making this 
simple enough. It's difficult book to understand this revelation. So you've got to stay simple and use other scriptures to interpret it. Now, what about this? He was caught up to God and to his throne. Well, this is the uh, simple fact of that. It's the ascension. Remember when Jesus had finished his ministry and he went up into heaven in Acts chapter 1 and um, he told them, he told his disciples in verse 8, Acts 1, 8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be my witnesses starting in Jerusalem and Samaria and until the uttermost parts of the earth. So there... Jesus was saying to them, listen, I'm going to give you power, the power of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you, that I'm leaving, my time to go. And when he'd spoken these things, verse 9, Acts chapter 1 and verse 9, behold, a cloud received him up out of their sight. And they looked steadfastly towards the heavens, and behold, two men in white apparel, and said, these angels said, what are you looking up for? This same Jesus who went up in this manner on a cloud is going to come down on a cloud. And of course, that's the rapture. Now, who is the male child? Jesus. He will rule the nations with a rod of iron. He'll be like a shepherd and he'll be taken up, caught up. This word caught up is the same word that's used for rapture. So people have said, oh, that's the rapture of the church. No. It was one single individual. So what we have established so far in this video is the woman was Israel, 12 stars, 12 tribes of, of Israel. That's um, um, confirmed by the scripture in Genesis 37. And the male child is Jesus, a shepherd ruling with a rod of iron, and he was caught up to heaven. Okay, hope that was simple enough. I like to stay simple. <laughs> People understand me when I stay simple. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow or the next day. And I'll explain about the dragon. <laughs>